We're here today because junior doctors have suffered from 26.1% pay cut over the last 15 years and we do not believe we are worth less than doctors 15 years ago. Over the past 15 years we've seen our pay drop by 26% in real terms. Um, that is not reflective of the work that we do. Our job has not got 26% easier. We are not seeing 26% fewer patients. If anything, demand has increased, our workloads have increased, our patients are far more complex. The situation has gotten to the point where a, a newly qualified doctor has paid £14 an hour uh, for the, the critical work that they do and we don't feel that is acceptable and we've had a, an overwhelmingly successful ballot with a 98% yes uh, vote for industrial action with a campaign ask of full pay restoration. So inflation adjusted um, restoration of our pay to what it was in 2008. We have plenty of doctors leaving the profession because the um, pay and conditions aren't the best. We um, have doctors leaving to other countries like Australia and New Zealand where they offer better pay and better working conditions. We believe that by restoring our pay, we'll be able to help with the NHS as we are losing so many doctors um, and therefore uh, we'll be able to retain them um, for a longer period of time. This government has failed to pay doctors well as it has failed to pay nurses well and many other healthcare practitioners. <laughs> the consequences of that are undeniable. People are leaving work, they're quitting work in the NHS, they are emigrating to other countries that recognise the value that they bring. If this government wants a world-class health service, it must pay for one. What we're seeing on the streets and the pickets, this here right now, is a warning of what's to come for the politicians in Holyrood. And they either don't grasp the gravity of the situation, or they're ignoring the voices of their NHS workforce. Neither of those things is acceptable. <laughs> What else is not acceptable? It's our pay that's been slashed. It's not acceptable that 8 in 10 Scottish doctors will have to do overtime to meet their bills. It's no wonder nearly half of the Scottish doctors are actively looking to leave our NHS. It's why pay restoration isn't just about valuing us and the work we do. It's about making a payment on the future of the NHS, a down payment on the future of the NHS, by helping to retain the junior doctor workforce before we're poached by a country that values us or an industry that respects our expertise. In 2015-16, we were fighting on our own. And then last summer happened. And there were rail workers, and postal workers, and nurses, and junior doctors, and civil servants. The important thing about this moment is that none of us are alone anymore. The interesting thing about the current moment is this is the first time since 1979 that there's been widespread trade union action over pay. It unites us all. And Boris Johnson has been caught with his pants down before. The Tories have crashed the economy before. But Boris Johnson went, Liz Truss went, they did so because they can't deliver peace with the trade unions. That's why they went, and that's why we need to stand together. Health, social security and education are all under attack in this government. This government's ideology of money and markets. We oppose that, utterly. They want to destroy social security, the right to health care, the right to education, we will all stand together against that threat. We must remember that the cost of living crisis is a political choice. It's the result of neoliberalism and the politics of inequality. They're calling this budget a budget for growth. We ask growth for whom? For the few, for the few again and again at the detriment of the many.